So, uh, so let's look at mainstream religions and uh, uh, mainstream Christianity uh, is expressed in a number of ways. Um, there's Orthodox Christian, mainstream Orthodox Christianity, there's mainstream Catholic, Catholic Christianity, and there's mainstream Protestant Christianity. And in, among those groups there are contemplative components, uh, which are very often um, a very small component of that mainstream religion. So, uh, so again, if we look at mainstream Christianity, then it would be expressed in uh, basically in a belief that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God who died for our sins. That's their simplified belief system, and they don't generally stray from, from that model. Now, a contemplative tradition would uh, not necessarily reject that interpretation of Christianity, but what they would do is they would say that, well, if you want salvation, then you're going to need to engage in regular meditation practice in addition to having that faith component and, um, and uh, you know, ritual cycle and, and uh, following an ethical system. And the mystics, of course, will have, would, would have all of that set, uh, but they would add into that component that you don't really have salvation until you experience it through the religious experience. Okay, so, uh, so that's uh, Christianity, a mainstream Christianity compared to contemplative Christianity compared to uh, mystical Christianity. Now we have Hinduism. Hinduism has much the same kind of pattern in which uh, we've got uh, Vaishnava Hinduism as a good example of, of a faith-based religion in which uh, they believe that God walked on earth in the form of Krishna and all we have to do is basically believe that Krishna uh, was God in the flesh and, um, and perhaps remember his name. That's usually typical of, of Vaishnava Hinduism is the repetition or memorization of Krishna's name. Now within Hinduism uh, and mainstream uh, or Vaishnava Hinduism is, is probably the dominant form of Hinduism. But as anybody who has studied Hinduism will know, Hinduism has tens of thousands of uh, subsects just as Christianity has. And uh, some of those subset, uh, sets of Hinduism or sects of Hinduism uh, follow the yoga tradition. And the yoga tradition is basically a contemplative component in Hinduism. And that is usually expressed in the, in the regular practice of meditation. And they have a term called samadhi, which represents the religious experience and, and is comparable to uh, the use of the term contemplation by the mystics of Christianity. So, uh, and those contemplative components of Hinduism are a much smaller community of people than the, uh, than the mainstream faith-based believers. Now, Buddhism has the same uh, makeup in that uh, uh, the mainstream Buddhism uh, is best represented by Pure Land Buddhism. And Pure Land Buddhism is, is almost identical to Vaishnava Hinduism and uh, born-again uh, Christianity in that they reject the pra tend to reject the practice of meditation and emphasize believing uh, in uh, the Noble Eightfold Path um, and it being defined primarily in a faith-based context with uh, following an ethical system which, by the way, represents the first um, uh, six folds of the path according to um, uh, mainstream Buddhism. And, uh, and they tend to reject the meditation component. And so they are very much like born-again Christianity and uh, Vaishnava Hinduism. And Islam has much the same thing. Mainstream Islam is generally expressed in uh, blind faith in a religious belief system. It generally rejects the contemplative tradition. But within Islam, 
there are contemplative traditions and they're usually called Sufis. And uh, uh, the Sufis tend to uh, practice uh, something that's like meditation and they tend to call it zikr. And, uh, and a small subset of them are uh, mystics. In fact, most of the mystics of Islam were Sufis. Okay, so, uh, so what we've got is mainstream religion accounts for, let's say, 99% of, of uh, a particular religion, and it's based on faith and ethics in prayer and a rejection of meditation and contemplation, typically. Uh, and that would be true of, of any one of the major religions. Um, the contemplative traditions uh, would represent, let's say, 1% or maybe 0.1% of a religion. And they emphasize meditation. Uh, and they oftentimes talk about the religious experience, but in most cases they don't really understand what the religious experience is. If somebody claims to have a religious experience, that person is usually um, uh, marginalized within that contemplative tradition because they've made that re uh, religious experience to be such a fantastic experience that no mere mortal can have that. Only the progenitor and his immediate disciples could have had that experience. Okay, and then, uh, and then the mystics of any uh, religion, they would represent 1% or 0.1% of the contemplative traditions, which means that uh, the mystics that we're looking for, the authentic mystics, are going to represent somewhere between 0.1% to 0.01% of, uh, and perhaps even 0.001% of any religion. So they're going to be hard to find, uh, and of course they're going to be, <clears throat> how they express themselves typically is uh, in the form of bliss, joy, and ecstasy, or ecstatic terminology. They, their religious experience is ecstatic for them, and uh, um, and they oftentimes have similar religious experiences such as such as out of body experiences and uh, and ecstatic altered states of consciousness. So, okay, friends, that is our uh, summary of um, of comparative religions. How important it is to to follow a comparative religions model to understand genuine mystics and how the mystics are really going to be misunderstood by ma their mainstream form of their religion and that we really have to look to the mystics uh, f for a description of their experience and oftentimes the doctrine of that religion uh, will have to be reinterpreted from the perspective of the mystic so, such that we'll have to reject uh, translations conducted by mainstream religion and focus on interpretations and translations that were conducted by mystics. Thank you, friends. Have a great week.